much and a good, uh, good end to the spring uh, practice season. Uh, just talk about what you saw today with some good things and, and any bad things you may have seen as well. Well, we had a couple turnovers, obviously, offensively. That's bad for the offense, but it's good for the defense because our defense, that's one of the things that they've been working on, trying to create turnovers. Uh, I thought with the limited number of guys that we had to be able to get close to 55 live plays, uh, that was great. Uh, and then we had a tremendous emphasis on the special teams, uh, and so really got a lot of stuff to look at and work on with our guys. So I'm pleased. We had 15 really good days. Our guys responded well, worked hard the whole time. Now, uh, segueing into the special teams, you did get a lot of special teams in work today. You saw a good leg from Michael Doss today. No, Michael Doss really stepped up. And, you know, obviously Taylor's been our kicker for the last four years. Michael's got a chance to be our kickoff guy and our uh, field goal guy. Very excited about what we saw out of him. He took full advantage of this opportunity. Now, I know coming into this game, a little concerned with how many healthy guys you had, uh, but uh, all in all, did you see a good performance out of the, the guys that were healthy today? Most definitely. You know, we had eight D linemen, we had eight O linemen, so, uh, you know, it really worked out well. Our O line is the most reps they've gotten. I think they got a little tired there at the end. We got to get them ready for that, uh, you know, with the way we play and the things we do. But, you know, overall, you know, the guys, you know, when we rested the O-line and D-line when we were doing special teams, you know, everybody else was going. So right. I, I thought our guys really handled kind of every situation pretty well. Now something that, that's just as consistent as, as what fans saw in the during the regular season, you really got a lot of consistency today out of Luke Charles and especially your wide receiver core as yeah, well. Yeah, we got, you know, we got six returning wide receivers. We got a quarterback who threw for almost 3,000 yards. So, I mean, that, that's got to be something that we play off of and do well with. Uh, and th those guys will continue to work hard. Uh, a couple of miscommunications on some things, and that, that's par for the course of, uh, you know, anytime you do something. But we got four months before we get going, and our guys, I think, will take full advantage of it. Now, with with a 3,000 yard receiver and uh, or 3,000 yard quarterback and your receivers, you got it sort of took, sort of took advantage of a little bit of the defense today. But the defense does look like it's improving. No, you know, our defense uh, has you know been missing guys throughout the whole course of spring because of injuries or wherever. You know, and Kellen Rankin didn't go today. Kadarius Mason didn't go today. You know, Ryan Stiles didn't go today. Uh, Josh Barber was just getting back into it. So uh, I'm pleased. You know, defense came back, fought. They gave up a touchdown early, but then they fought, didn't give up a touchdown, got some stops, and then created some turnovers. So that's exciting. Now, I, it's the end of the spring season, but the work doesn't really stop for you guys. I mean, talk about uh, what your players go through the next couple months and, and uh, leading up to the summer and in August. Well, we start our off-season program on Monday. Uh, Joey Hannon will get him in there, and uh, we'll start a week before we have to have a mandated dead week by the NCAA. But we'll get that going, and then um, we will start once summer session one starts, May Master. Our guys will start their summer workout program and go right up to the day we report. So, they, like I said, they've got about you know three months and three weeks, close to four months, uh, before we report. But, you know, they, they've, they've got their work cut out for them.